So this is just a quick demo on how to record a transaction using Windshuttle Transaction and then a mapping in Excel to uh, the SAP, to the transaction and then submitting that to SAP. So let's create a new one. Do it on T code MM01. That's just a recording mode. Okay. Retail. Finished product. Select my views. And then you just go through your views as you do your normal transaction. This is just a little tricky part here. I pretend like I'm going to the next one, so it defaults to the rest of my tax codes. Just go back to basic data and then save that one. It's gonna go back to transaction then and ask us to do the mapping. This is where you map between Excel and the transaction. So you have Excel down the bottom here and all the fields that I touch in SAP are up here and it's just master slave, drag and drop in the direction that the data is gonna flow. So in this case, it's gonna be Excel to SAP. So I highlight the fields that I want and then I just drag and drop and that's it. That's the mapping done. Then I'll highlight the rest of the fields, drag and drop. I'm just going to put a little bit of validation in so that you can just see the sort of things you can do. Uh, on the plant field here, I'm just going to make it from a list of values. So if they're not within this list, then it will not be accepted. So if the input isn't within those values, then it won't accept it. And then we're just going to turn validation on all fields. We'll save our data sheet. Save our transaction. Done. It's ready to run. So I'm going to publish this inside the Excel sheet now. Okay. That's published. Let's open it up. So here's our Excel workbook. It's got that line of data in that we had um, before. I'm just gonna make some more data quickly. And just back to a one. And then let's just drag that down. So we've got some more rows of data. I'm gonna put a couple of errors in here to show you we've got some validation doesn't work. Um, 200. And down in another field, let's put an XX. Let's open up the wind shuttle add-in for transaction. Okay, I'm just going to change this to zero so it doesn't end at row 11. I'm going to do a validation. SAP credentials. C2000 doesn't exist, 2200 doesn't exist, and XX doesn't uh, work for that entry. So let's go back, let's fix up a couple. Uh, we'll leave that one and we'll put 10 back in there. And then we've got an option just to run on errors to validate again. You can see it just fixes up those ones, it's still got that one as an error. Let's just change that back to 1000. And then let's do a normal run and let's run it against SAP. See it's going through and it's creating each row. Bang, 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 finished. The last check we're gonna do is we're gonna check it as actually in SAP, so 3143.
basic data. There it is. Thank you.